G'day, I'm David from the Questacon Science Squad and people have been telling me my whole life I'm full of hot air. So it's about time that I decided to do something about that and put that hot air to good use. So I decided to make a balloon powered car. For this, I'm going to need a piece of cardboard about eight centimeters by 10 centimeters, obviously a balloon, a couple of skewers, three straws, two straight straws, and one with those nice bendy bits in it. We need four bottle tops, about the same size is great. They're gonna be our wheels, some scissors, a piece of elastic band, and last but not least, some sticky tape. All right, this is what you do. Grab your straight pieces of straw and place them on the bottom of your piece of cardboard there, just like that. You want them just about even, grab some sticky tape and stick them down. They're great. One piece down, two pieces down, Flip that over. Now, your skewers are going to be your axles and then that's what your wheels are gonna go on the end of. So, your wheels should already have a couple of little holes drilled in them. They wanna be about the same size as the thickness of our skewer. So stick that in one end. There we go, just like that. Through the axle. Oh, no, wait a second. We wanna put these around the other way so that rough bit on the side of the bottle tap doesn't catch on the cardboard. Same on this side, just push it through. There we go, beautiful. And we've got a second one. Try not to stab yourself in the hand with a pointy bit at the end of the skewer. I'm told it really hurts. I wouldn't know by personal experience, of course. I'm not silly enough to do that. All right, get that one on. Ooh. There, great. All right, now the next part, take your bendy straw like this and your balloon and your scissors and cut your bendy straw so you've got two pieces about the same length. There we go. Yep. So you've got a nice little bendy piece like that, you can get rid of that, over you go. And take your balloon on the end of one section of the bendy straw, elastic band on the outside, and just wrap it around a few times so the balloon stays onto the end of the straw. It should end up looking something like this. So you should be able to blow it up and no way it gets out of it. All right, now back to your wheels. It takes a little bit of working out to try and get these straight so the car moves forward nicely. So I've made one a little bit earlier, which I'm sure works. Here it is, it's a beauty, isn't it? Nice orange wheels. Okay, so grab your balloon and your straw, get another piece of sticky tape like that, and put it on the end of your straw like there, and stick it down. So the end of the straw is poking out over the side of the car, and your balloon's stuck in the middle of it. Now it's time to test how it races. So get your, get your balloon, start to blow it up. And you might notice that I've chosen a red balloon. That's because everyone knows that red is the fastest. All right, let's see how it goes. Three, two, one, balloon car away. Look at it go. It's brilliant, isn't it? If you want to find out more about making a balloon car, you can head on down to the Questacon Science Squad website. I'll see you next time.